Security Level 1. Item Number SCP-2035. Object Class Euclid. Special Containment Procedures MTF-69. Monkey on the Lamp has been created and tasked with acquiring or otherwise destroying all newly encountered instances of SCP-2035. Fully grown instances are to be detained under the guise of potential risk of contagion to humans. Secure instances of SCP-2035 are to be kept in Site 141's Zoological Research Center, locked in Freezer Unit 188, when not undergoing testing. Fully grown instances hereafter referred to as subjects are to be kept in specially designated containment cells, depending on taxonomy and level of aggression. Subjects are to be allowed sufficient free time in the on-site wildlife recreation areas, WRA 2 to 17, with a lot of time to be determined by research head for each group. Subjects demonstrating high levels of aggression towards one another are to be segregated from the general population and allowed time in separate WRAs as needed. Personnel handling subjects are to ensure their hands are protected with non-latex vinyl gloves to prevent excess moisture from coming into contact with SCP-2035 subjects. Description SCP-2035 refers to 144 currently in containment miniature desiccated beetle animals. Note almost exclusively mammalian, with a significant portion consisting of simian primates, specifically chimpanzees, bonobos, orangutans, gibbons, and gorillas. Measuring 3 cm by 3 cm by 1 cm, enclosed in paper envelopes, measuring 17 cm by 8 cm, Instances of SCP-2035 initially show no signs of life and are fragile, necessitating specific levels of heat and humidity to grow. Physical contact with SCP-2035 causes it to absorb surface moisture, resulting in extreme cases in significant drying of the skin around the point of contact. Following a period of two to three weeks, SCP-2035 instances begin to show signs of life and experience rapid growth, reaching full sexual maturity within four to six weeks. Subjects at this stage tend to be physically unremarkable from non-anonymous members of the respective species, while displaying a significant number of mental deviations and or psychological abnormalities often resulting in extremely volatile and unpredictable behavior. Full-grown instances of SCP-2035 in containment currently number 60. Discovery SCP-2035 was first reported in beep to local animal control services on October 2nd, 2014, when an instance of SCP-2035 2035 was discovered in the glove compartment of an abandoned vehicle on the side of the road. An envelope containing SCP-2035 was reportedly labeled with the words, Do not sell, and included a local area phone number and address. The number led to a local rejection hotline, a non-incorporeal gag service line maintained by various individuals by region, while it is highly unlikely anyone involved with the rejection hotline may have been involved with SCP-2035, Foundation personnel tracked down and contacted the individual behind a beep region number. Individual was cleared of any involvement in SCP-2035, and the address did not exist in either the municipal or incorporated area. Newly discovered instances of SCP-2035 began to appear in nearby Beep and Beep County, 
most bearing no outside marking, and all others similarly containing numbers to different rejection hotline gag lines and fictitious addresses. Some of the envelopes bear the phrase, for to being of the population put for water. In subsequent tweaks and months, a number of full-grown subjects emerged, turned over to local animal shelters, or otherwise detained by wild animal control units, due to the difficulty in confirming detained animals as SCP-2035 instances, it is unknown how many SCP-2035 subjects remain uncontained. Subjects' physiology show no significant deviations in terms of growth, health, and development from their non-anomalous counterparts, and show no signs of improved and or impaired physical health as a result of their rapid growth. Examples of abnormal behavior among subjects have included catatonia, often accompanied by uncontrollable twitching or jerking, sedentary behavior among typically active animals, including equines, lynxes, and alligators, significant lack of spatial awareness, Frequent pantomiming of typically human activities, including the opening and closing of containers, dressing and undressing, and the apparent serving and consuming of beverages and cups. Exclusively among the simian subjects, the following pantomimes and behavior have been observed. Greetings, including handshakes, bows, curtsies, and friendly hugging. Individual subjects standing face to face, foreheads pressed, motions for periods of up to two to five hours. Activities apparently resembling the pumping of gasoline into a vehicle, including use of a credit card for payment. Subjects walking upright in up long elliptical patterns for periods of up to 30 to 40 minutes. A series of actions among four more subjects resembling a series of mundane events. Grooming, dressing, hand gestures, leading up to an event resembling an attempted murder of one subject by one or more of the others. Addendum Repeated observation of the simian subject's behavior has shown no change in the recorded pantomime actions, save for the latter described. On different occasions, the sequence of events pantomimed by the simian subjects has changed significantly, concluding with a depiction of an attempted murder in alternate ways. These depictions have included simulated murders using blunt objects, stabbing devices, strangulation, poisoning, and shooting. The most elaborate display to date apparently involved a stationary subject pentomiming firing a rifle at another in a moving vehicle.